Hello, welcome back to my channel, Reclaiming Jen, where moms can take a break from the busy mom life and focus on their own needs, wants, and goals. On my channel, I talk about online teaching and how to become an online teacher and work from home. In today's video, I have an extra special guest. Today's video, we are going to be hearing from a good friend of mine, Alejandra Londano, and she is over on her channel, Alejandra Londano. And you may know her on Instagram as Teacher Alejandra. Alejandra and I met during a YouTube course, the Nancy Taylor Beyond Teaching Online course, and we have supported each other and bounced ideas off of each other since we were in the course over a year ago. And it's just been a really great um, thing to find somebody that you connect with and that you can um, work together towards your own goals but together. So today we are collaborating on a video and you are going to hear from her today. Alejandra has an amazing channel where she has a plethora of advice and tips and knowledge on teaching for VIP kids. She has been a longtime VIP kid teacher. She has been a brick and mortar teacher for kindergarten and various grades in the past. And she has been talking about her online journey without school for the past year. So I want you to check out her channel because when you go over to her channel and check out her newest video that uploaded today, you'll hear from me with my VIP kid tips. So if you wanna hear what I have to say about tips for passing the smart demo, as well as hers, well, you better hop on over to her channel. When you head on over to her channel, don't forget to give her some love, subscribe to her channel, check it out. It's a beautiful site that she has. And um, subscribe, hit that like button on the video, and you'll see my tips over there. Without further ado, here is my friend Alejandra Londano and her tips for passing the Smart Demo with VIP Kid. As Jen mentioned, my name is Alejandra Londano and I'm going to share with you my top five tips if you are currently about to complete your Smart Demo lesson for VIP Kid. Tip number one for your VIP Kid Smart Demo lesson is to use a variety of props. Therefore, when you're preparing for your lesson, you want to try to have 2D props, 3D props, maybe a whiteboard. So you share with VIP Kid that you know how to use different props to help the student learn whatever objective you're trying to teach on the slide. I'm going to share some examples of different props you could actually use for your smart demo. Like I mentioned, you might use 2D props. I actually have a freebie. Jen will have it linked down below. This freebie is available to anyone, whether you're my referral or not. All you have to do is fill out your name and your email address, and then you will get a lot of free props. All of these props included in this freebie are 2D props. Some examples are flashcards, there's rewards. So that is a great resource if you need help creating 2D props, like different flashcards. Another type of prop you might use is a 3D prop, and you can think of stuffed animals or different toys you may have to use as 3D props. For example, I use dino a lot. Of course, you might not have a dino, so maybe you want to use some sort of animal. Something else I like to use a lot is like a microphone or a magnifying glass. So just look around your house and see if there's any items you might be able to use for your smart demo lesson. Finally, the best prop, in my personal opinion, is actually a whiteboard. You can use a whiteboard for almost anything. So if you don't have a prop for something, you can always write or draw something on your whiteboards. Whiteboards are probably the prop I personally use the most when I'm actually teaching VIP kid classes. Now, I did want to bring out, because I do have a lot of newer teachers asking, how many props should I purchase when I'm just starting to teach online? My advice is to buy a very small amount, if any at all. Now, some teachers love to have tons of props and some teachers prefer to have a very minimal amount. And I can say, for example, I like to have a minimal amount of props 
If I actually shared with you right here, I have one bin that is dedicated to VIP Kid, and that is it. So keep in mind that you do not have to invest lots of money on props right when you're starting in the application process for VIP Kid, or even when you're starting to become an online teacher. Tip number two is that when you are actually recording your smart demo lesson, you want to have good lighting. Now, I do have a few tips for you if you do not already have a good lighting system in place in your house. Personally, what I like to do is teach or record very close to a window during the day. So right now, I am actually recording my video. It is 11 a.m., so the sun is shining in. I personally have a ring light. If you do not have a ring light, you could just put one or two lamps right next to your computer or whatever device you're using to record your smart demo. Also keep in mind, I highly recommend you have some sort of simple backdrop behind you. Now I'm gonna show you mine very quickly in just a second, but keep in mind when you are just doing that smart demo or you're even starting your mock class, a very simple backdrop will be fine. I always say maybe have your name somewhere behind you and a blank wall with maybe a picture or a stuffed animal, but make it a little warm and inviting. If you need different ideas, you can always go to different stores like Target in the dollar section or the Dollar Tree to find cute things you can decorate your backdrop with. I am though very quickly going to share my backdrop with you. Okay, so I thought I would share with you what my classroom setup or my backdrop looks for VIP Kid. Keep in mind when you are first starting, it does not have to be this detailed or extravagant. I always recommend you start with a very simple backdrop. And then as you continue with your online journey, you can add small things behind you to make it more of your own. So as you can see behind me, I like to display my name. You can just make something very quickly to have your name displayed somewhere in your classroom. I also like to display this map. Now I do have it on magnets and this map is super, super cute. I actually got it from this shop. I'll have it linked here. And if you purchase anything from her shop and you use my code, you will actually get 5% off. She has small maps like this, as well as really big ones that can cover your whole backdrop that look very, very nice in the VIP Kid classroom. As you can see, I have a big whiteboard behind me. I have a small little frame that's hard to see. And then I have a bulletin board paper behind me as well that covers my white wall. Now, these are just ideas. As I mentioned, having a very simple, small setup behind you will definitely work for your smart demo. Whether you just have one of these things, your name, a small map, a cute picture, a whiteboard, etc. I hope you get the idea. Tip number three I have for the VIP Kids Smart Demo Lesson is to make sure you're using minimal to no incidental language. Therefore, when you're actually teaching, you want to enunciate and speak very slowly and clearly. Keep in mind, these students are learning English as a second language. You might actually want to put yourself in their shoes. Imagine if you are trying to learn Chinese. How would you feel if your Chinese teacher was talking very, very fast and they were not enunciating and they were not speaking very clear and it was just very, very hard to understand them? You might feel a little bit overwhelmed. So when you are teaching your smart demo lesson, you want to show VIP Kid that you understand these students are learning this language as a second language. It is not their primary first language. Therefore, it is so important that you speak very slowly and clearly, and you aren't using incidental language, meaning you aren't telling them directions or you're not asking them very complicated questions. So when you're actually teaching your smart demo, you want to be very slow and clear and give minimal directions and instruction. You want your sentences to be very simple and short 
And it's honestly best if you do not provide directions using words, instead use TPR. Um, Jen will mention in the other video how you can use TPR in your mock class and your smart demo, but make sure you're using very minimal, simple language. Tip number four is actually quite a simple tip. It is to make sure you are paying attention to those teacher directions at the bottom of the screen. Now I'm gonna read off a few examples, but you want to make sure before you teach the lesson, you are reading at the bottom, it's usually a sentence or two that tells the teacher what they're supposed to do to help and teach the student. Some examples of different directions you see are student is introduced to the verb to throw by repeating the word and sentences. Another example is student practices the words kite and doll by matching them to the pictures and completing the sentences verbally. So you want to make sure you pay attention to those bottom teacher directions. If you follow those directions and try to meet the lesson objectives, you will show VIP Kid that you will be a good teacher. Tip number five is the same as Jen mentioned in her video, that is actually enthusiasm. You want to be very enthusiastic, happy, smiley when you're recording your smart demo lesson. Now, this is not to say that every single class you're gonna be off the roof, very excited, high energy, lots of smiles, but this is great to show VIP kid that you are able to do so. I know for me personally, when I teach the younger kids, I am usually smiling 90% of the time and my mouth eventually does start to hurt. But if you do teach a lot of the older students, that is not always the case. So level twos probably have to smile a lot. Level threes, fours, five, sixes your energy can usually go down, but I always recommend, like Jen said as well, that you are very enthusiastic, happy, and energetic when you are teaching your smart demo lesson. Now, these are my five tips if you are currently in the process of completing your smart demo lesson for VIP Kid. Don't forget to check out my channel. On my channel, I actually have Jen sharing with you five more tips that can help you pass your smart demo lesson for the VIP Kid application. What did you think? Isn't she just a breath of fresh air? I just love her energy and her authenticity. She's just great. So check out more of her videos over on her channel and thank you for watching this video today. I look forward to hearing how you like this collaboration that we did today. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about today's video and please like subscribe hit the notification bell it really supports me in my journey with youtube and like i said earlier about my journey with alejandra we've set goals we've got youtube goals so uh, if you'd like to help us out we would appreciate it all right see you in the next one bye